players come and go on 2B2T all the time. Some make history, others don't. But there is one player that left their mark on 2B2T forever, and that player's name is Pop Bob. Chances are you've heard the name before, but do you really know the story? There was a time on the server where just seeing him was a death sentence. Pop Bob has griefed more bases and monuments than any other player in 2B2T history. He's a lone wolf. He fights for no one but himself. And his reign of terror lasted years. No one was safe from Pop Bob. Pop Bob made history when he used one of the most famous exploits 2B2T had ever seen. The Thunder Hack. Every time lightning would strike, Pop Bob knew exactly where it struck. By using this method, he hunted down players and bases over a period of months, non-stop. He caused many players to quit and never come back. Using this method, he found me, destroyed my base, and killed me. I spent a long time tracking him down, but finally, years later, during the third incursion, we found him. We chased him down, fought him, and caused him to combat log. It was a success. But by the time we fought him, he was just a shell of his former self. Now you're probably wondering, why did all of this happen? What caused him to do this? And here we are at Passy Town, also known as Squid Base because of a giant squid statue that used to be here. Now this base has a lot of history. It's one of the last known places where Pop Bob actually based with people. And there were a lot of other famous players that lived here too. Now of course I've got Oftopia, the historian here, who's going to tell me all about it. So, it was originally called Passy Town, as you already know. Very cool. The entire base has been partially griefed. A lot of structures are still standing, but we're going to take a look at all of them, griefed and ungriefed. So, this base was founded in 2011, at the same time as Oftopia and Judge Holden built Old Town. Now, Judge Holden, if you don't know who that is, he wrote the 2B2T comic a while back. So in addition to Pop Bob, Police Mike, Passy, XCC, and there were others here too. So this was a very big base at one point. And wow, Police Mike, I haven't heard his name in a long time. So this base only lasted about three months before it was found by someone named Luke to the Bum. In 2011, a hundred K away from spawn was actually considered pretty far. And so this base, Passy Town, was actually the farthest base away from spawn at one point. It was never griefed much, but still, it's funny to think that they used to consider a hundred K to be like far. Where now we have bases out in the millions. There was probably a fire here at some point. Maybe some TNT, too. You can tell this base was made in 2011 because look how simplistic everything looks. It's all the alpha blocks, basically. Like, you got your wood, you've got your cobble and your mossy cobble, your stone slabs, pretty much. Oftopia says some of it burned, but it's still mostly intact. Yeah, I can see that. But wow, it's weird to think that five years ago, this was the base to be at. Like, this was the number one base. Oftopia says back then, Pop Bob had a back door to the server, and he and others used it. Now, there have been many backdoors in 2B2T's history, but that is just one example of it. And it looks like this is a list of the players that used to live here. Wow. It's weird to think that these players, most of whom don't even play anymore, wrote these 
five years ago. Oftopia says that after this base was abandoned, Police Mike, Chase, Passy, and XCC all banded together while Pop Bob just became a recluse who went off on his own. He would never group up, base, or build with anyone else ever again. So this dome in front of us is Pop Bob's. He built it originally, and it became his signature building wherever he went. The guy may have griefed a lot, but he did know how to build. It really makes me wonder what happened here that caused Pop Bob to crack. Why did he stop trusting everybody? Oftopia says that every time Pop Bob got griefed, there was one of these at his base. So he always would build this same type of sphere. Maybe this dome is going to give us some insight into what Pop Bob is really like. Wow. This is quite an impressive build. I mean, dome builds like this are always pretty neat, but looks like he did a really nice job on it. To think that he was just like one of us at one point. Just built for fun, had friends, trusted people. Very eerie to be in here. Now, Oftopia is actually surprised that I know as much about Pop Bob as I do, but I don't think he knows that I was one of his victims. And believe it or not, that day when Pop Bob killed me and destroyed my base, it actually made me a better player. Getting griefed by Pop Bob was actually a rite of passage at one point. If he griefed you, but you kept playing, you pretty much had passed the test. A lot of people quit, and they just weren't strong enough for this server. I'm just letting Oftopia know what happened that day. But that was a long time ago. Oftopia is saying that Pop Bob's backdoor access is what made him such a killing machine. His sword arm would move so fast it was like a blur, apparently. And I found that out the hard way. We're leaving the dome now and we're gonna check out the other parts of the base. Oftopia is going to tell me a little bit about this castle with all the fire on top of it. Now this was built by Passy and XCC. And now Passy's famous for building a lot of castles on the server, so this one makes sense. So this town and Old Town were both the starter bases for many more bases. The people in Old Town actually stayed together until the end of 2013, so that's a long time for everyone to be at one base together. Very cool. It's weird to think that so much history started here at Passy Town. Oh wow, a pig spawner. That's a clear sign they had access to the back door. I haven't seen one of those since Cam Town. Jeez. If we're talking about the 2B2T timeline, you're going to notice that a lot of the old bases from the Face Punch era, they were called towns. It wasn't like the later eras where they were named after like famous mythological places. They were just towns. And looking at this thing, I'm surprised it's still standing. I mean, it's made out of wood. I can't believe no one tried to burn this place down. has a very lodge feel to it. You know, like a, a hunting lodge or a place you'd see in the very northern part of the continental United States. Oftopia is just commenting that places like this were common back when there weren't that many fancy blocks. Yeah, these old bases, they didn't have a lot to work with, so they had to get creative w with what little selection of blocks they had. Overall, a very cool house. We're coming back to the outsides of Pop Bob's Dome right now. It does look pretty cool at night. Huh, I wonder what Oftopia's thinking about right now. Interesting. Interesting. 
Oftopia says, Pop Pop griefed so many of us and his build is still standing here. Amazing. That is true. The man, or the thing I'd like to say, that killed and griefed so many of us and yet his build is still standing. It is quite remarkable now that I think about it. To see this build, knowing what Pop Bob would go on to do, it's a really unique feeling. A feeling that you would only get in a place like 2B2T. Nowhere else could you feel something like this. Huh, Oftopia's taking a little jab at Pop Bob saying, because this same dome was found around the map multiple times, that he was a bit uncreative after a while. Alright, Oftopia's getting ready to log out. Like I said, Oftopia is one of those players that everybody respects. He's been here so long, he's seen it all. He's just a book of knowledge for us. Let this be a lesson that anyone can come on 2B2T and make a name for themselves. Anyone can become a legend like this. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not so good. In Pop Bob's case, it was a reign of terror. Even though Pop Bob was 2B2T's antagonist for the longest time, this is still a piece of history we need to protect. Man, talking about all this dark history has made me kind of depressed. I think it's time to do something a little more fun. <laughs> 